and you realize you could have given a little more, boasted a little less, and cared deeper for the future in front of you and the world surrounding? Please stay right here in my heart. Please don't leave me straight from the cold. I need you so desperately. Deep inside, I love you so. I cry my pillow in the middle of the night, wishing you would come for me and say it's going to be all right. I pray to the Lord above that our relationship would be just fine. I want to be with you no matter what happens between me and you. I want to be a ride or die chick like the moon and the stars. I want, to, I want to give you what you need so I can be your queen, then you can be my king. But most of all, I want to do is to stay here with me. Aww. Rachel Smalls right now reading Calling Down the Avenue. Um, it's a poem I wrote like two days ago. It seems that life is taking a turn, appear appearing deceivingly hard to make dreams come true. Sit and ponder the heart. Examine the depth of my soul and question my character. Your eyes draw me near and smile brings peace. Body captivates presence. Strings in need of mending tune the chords of my heart. Become one as the dance revives. Clock ticks eleven and bodies quiver. It is a glorious afternoon spent on one side of emotions. Come to me, she begs, and love me before them all. Not wanting to crawl down the avenue of twists and turns. All wanting is to learn him. Um. Okay, um, this poem is for my dad. He's no longer staying with me. I just want to let you guys know before I start the poem. He didn't pass away, so, you know. Alright. Um, <clears throat> I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have my dad. He pisses me off, but he's the best man I've ever had. He stood up for me even when he knew I was wrong. That's why I can't open my eyes to see that he's gone. He's far away, and I know that he's not coming back. But him and my mom can't get along, and I have to face the fact that him and my dad, that my mom and my dad were not meant to be. I know you had to leave her, but why'd you have to leave me? You're my ride or die, someone I can call my best friend. You took me in as your own, and I hope things never change, and our love never ends. I love you, Dad. Um. It stings, as if I were slapped in the face, melting my skin, erasing my being violently ripping apart every word, every word I form, any repose I feel, any joy I might have, the grisly effect it has on my spirit quavers my heart, stops me in my trap, and there is silence. Nigger is what they call me, nigger is what I am not. In a world where using that word slaves me as the norm, I battle with my insides and what is right and what is fair. To ban those words from my friends for using it, no matter how close they are, is that fair? Yet I use those I use words that demean myself and my feminist mystique. These words are vulgar. To befriend those that demean me with a simple word and never hear them utter it to my face. Is that right? A word is a word, so they say, unless that word tears my skin away. Then that word becomes a threat, not a simple thing to begin to forget. Clouds my mind with hazardous blows, weighing my mind with worrisome woes, pay my fine for fleshful toes. A friend is a friend, unless you bend the words on the mouth of that very friend. Nothing less, though. Oh, why? Yeah.